What's poppin'? It's your boy Joey back with more Batman Arkham Knight. In the last episode... Well, if you haven't seen the last episode, then go back and watch it. What are you doing? Um... But right now... I wanted to find a Riddler trophy in that corner over there. Something I was looking for for a while. But uh, in this episode, Oracle managed to track down a few comms towers. The comm towers, I don't really know how to, if, it's, if I pronounce that right, comms or comm. But anyway, she tracked down the comm towers and we're going to use them to triangulate Scarecrow's position. And find out where he's been working. So that's what we're going to be up to this episode. Well, I got other things to take care of. You guys uh, can take care of the rioters. You get paid for this kind of crap. Oh, um, there's actually a, a little AR challenge that I can do. I think I can do it now. You left me to die in the asylum, but I will show you no such mercy. Oh, really? Well, we'll see. So I can't do this yet. How do I unlock it? Run and transition directly into a... Oh. Oh, I can totally do that right now. Yeah, see, right there. <laughs> Just have it unlocked right away. You just have to do, like, an awesome dive off a building. Alright. So what this does is it's a combo master thing. And... What you have to do is get a combo of times 50. Which, if you remember from my Arkham City walkthrough, was a big importance to me for whatever reason. Because to me, it just, uh, whenever you get a high combo in a game, it, uh, it just feels really good, you know? Like you're, you just feel like you're destroying everybody. But the thing is here, if I get hit even once, I fail. Oh god, okay. Okay, I just have to concentrate a little bit, right? I want this upgrade or level up. Oh god, okay. Okay. Just gotta concentrate a little bit. Oh crap! Okay. Okay. Almost got it. Bingo! Got my level up. But I'm gonna continue, because why not? I'm just kicking so much ass right now. Oh! No swords, man. Oh, knives. Oh, let's see if I can get to 100. And I have not a lot of upgrades right now, so I'm just working like from the very beginning of what I got. Oh god! <laughs> oh crap! Oh, you dick! <laughs> 69. All right. Well, I got my the upgrade that I wanted. So, well, my level up. Or I'm gonna confuse that the entire time this game. Upgrade, level up. So annoying. Um, I believe there's another trophy that I can grab. It's just down over here. Drop down, dummy. Um, it's not there. I think it's through here. Yep, right there. But we're not tr exactly trying to find Riddler trophies right now. We're trying to find Calm Towers. Calm's Towers, Calm Towers, whatever you want to call it. God damn it. There we go. Come on. There. Nice. Damaged. I need to bypass it and power the antenna directly. Hello again, Mr. Wayne. How can I help you this time? Is the power winch ready for deployment? It's 100% functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. You read my mind. It's in the 
job description, Mr. Wayne. Batwing's on its way. Why, thank you, Lucius. Lucius always comes in clutch when we need him. I'm pretty sure there's another trophy that I can grab that's just right around the corner here. Yes? No? Yes! Right there. Mine! Your allies will help you tonight, Batman. I will be the end of you all. Will you really? I mean... Okay. Um... Hang on a second. Wait. Is there a trophy down there? I don't think there is. I might be mixing it up with another spot. Let's just get back into the spot. Now we have the power winch, which is like a bigger grappling hook for a Batmobile. How do you plan on getting the car onto the roof? I'll improvise. The winch needs a secure anchor point to function. Once it's attached, just hit reverse. And please be careful with the car, Mr. Wayne. She's one of a kind. Well, I'm pretty sure you can just make another one if you need to. Bruce has the money and the materials. Hold a friggin' sign there, good lord. But before I jump across, there's a trophy down over here that I want to collect. Uh. Uh. We needed the power winch, and now we have it. There we go. And what you want to do for this is take out your explosive gel, spray it on this little thing, and you're supposed to release the power winch, and once that goes back in there, it blows up those pipes. And now you can get inside. Well, Batman would work with me for once. There we go. And there it is. Uh, oh, there's another thing. Yeah, one of those shield things over there. Destroyed. pull up the roofing here to create our own little ramp, which is cool. Gotta navigate the area carefully, so you gotta use the battle mode, otherwise you just fall right over and drive on the roof. Yeah, I'm just gotta pull ourselves up a giant building like that makes sense. Oh, whoops. You gotta get the orange part to the top. You don't want to flood the damn thing. 
<laughs> Flood. Damn. <laughs> Little play on words. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great. I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. Can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah. But we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. Thank you. Robin. <laughs> He's just my stooge. What the hell has he ever done? <laughs> but, um... A little background on him. He was in the audience the night the Flying Graysons were killed. And if you don't know, Dick Grayson was one of the Flying Graysons. And uh, he eventually became Robin. But after a while of being in Batman's shadow, he decided to become Nightwing, his own superhero. And he works as Nightwing in a, it's kind of like a town outside of Gotham called Bloodhaven. Uh, and then seeing that there was a spot open for Robin... This man here, Tim Drake, he decided to assume the role. Keen detective skills, trained by Batman, and an arsenal of gadgets. Well, let's see if those skills will prove worthy. Why did I warn the Batman? Why give those terrorized refugees time to flee? You don't know, do you? Yeah, it can be a little intimidating. Uh, before I continue, He's given us a keys to the whole city. I want to scan that. That's a riddle as well. Fixation. This is just like another story about uh, Batman when he was taking over the asylum. Well, no, Batman didn't take over the asylum, it was Joker. A little story about Batman interrogating Joker. So I recommend pausing and reading it because it looks kind of interesting. I'll probably do that in my own time and read it myself. There's only so much time in the day, so I can't just waste time and read it out loud to you. So pause the video, read all the stories, it's pretty interesting. So. I think this is gonna be one special. We're wasting time. We've got the run of the whole city and we're stuck up here guarding some antenna. You heard Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. If that happens, this whole operation. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. In case the bat shoot. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Ready your battering and throw it straight out the door. Yes. You too. Just two. Got it, boss. And they're already separating from me. Aren't you guys sweet? Taking a couple shots, but uh, no one's been able to take me down. Three more soldiers inside. They think they're safe if they stick together. Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. So, we're gonna get a new suit.
Yeah, that, like, no one heard that. Alright, suit up, buddy. Out with the old, in with the new. Look at this badass thing right here. Plating. That looks so cool. Well, Mr. Wayne, let me walk you through it. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium dip tri weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. Speaking of which, the new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. Can Bruce, though? How does it feel, Mr. Wayne? I've activated the AR training program should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in. I highly recommend running the diagnostics if this is your first time playing through the game. I mean, I'm, I've beaten this before, but I'm still going to do the diagnostic because I'll be able to get my... Uh, my upgrade points, and those are always great. This just teaches you how to use the Batmobile with your new suits, because you can eject straight out of it and just glide in the air, which is so awesome. And I love this suit too, it just looks so like... It looks so perfect in my opinion. One down, I think four to go. There's the four AR training things, so. And we have a new thing here fear multi takedowns, which are new to Batman. It makes it so Batman can take out multiple foes in like a swift movement. It can be up to three, up to three targets you can take out. But we can upgrade it so it'll be four, and then upgrade it again so it'll be five targets. And when they're highlighting like that, that means they're open. For a Simulation activated. And you can use it from any specific angle as well. You can use it while in a vent, behind a wall, or hanging from a ledge. Simulation activated. More underneath that little grate. Simulation activated. But here's the trick with it. They have to be all in line of sight. So if they're separated, you won't be able to get all three of them in one fluid motion. So if you want to get all three, then you have to wait for them to get close together. You notice that this guy was doing a little patrol around here. And now we have to wait for him to come back to his buddies. Simulation complete. Few more things. Grapnel boost mark two. Simulation activated. So it makes our boosting so much better and makes us higher up in the air. Ah.
it just looks so perfect in this game and you can see like all the rain effect on his cape as well it just looks so awesome and what they want you to do now is to just glide and grapnel boost for the next minute and then you'll get your upgrade point and if you touch the ground you'll fail so don't hit the ground We failed. I'm kidding. Two more throw counters. So it's sort of like the throws in Arkham Asylum, only instead of pressing A and X together, you just counter them and move your uh, left stick in the direction you want to throw them. Killing you was gonna be fun, Batman. And then just Batman's got some arm. Just pretty much awesome. Now that's that's not exactly a big necessity, but you know it's still cool. Yeah. Learn the predator fundamentals. Basically, just teach you how to take out armed thugs. So. I thought that guy was gonna see me for a second. I, I just messed up. I mean, if he does see me, it doesn't matter. But um, obviously, I don't want to get shot for. Oh crap! Well, I still got shot. Okay. Well, that didn't work exactly the way I expected. Hopping a great. Take him out this way. Simulation complete. Well, good enough. I'll take it. Right, got all our upgrade points, so... Three gunmen, one hostage. Time to put this suit to the test. In order to get in the grates, it has B now, not A. The new suit is faster and more mobile. By getting close without being detected, I can get the jump on them, and in the panic, take down all three before they know what's hit them. Boom. Help me. All right, relax, I'll help you. Man, they said you were quick, but I never saw anyone take down three armed guys like that. Unbelievable. You're safe now. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. Hey, tell me you're gonna find Scarecrow. That son of a bitch needs to be stopped. Whoa, watch your language. And this is just the other comms tower that we have to uh, set up. Oracle, I've attached the uplink to the microwave tower. Perfect. I made an anonymous call to GCPD. They're gonna send someone to pick up the hostage. Come on, come on, connect. Love the suit, by the way. Okay, both towers are fully online. Time to find Scarecrow. Alright. I need to use both Man, antennas to identify the micro and radio wave frequencies across Gotham. If I can find both frequencies at the same location, I'll know where Scarecrow is manufacturing his toxin. So, you just want to point them over here. The radio and microwave frequencies point to Ace Chemicals. That's where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. If that's not your first guess to where he'd be producing his toxin, toxin that's just Ace Chemicals. That's where we'll find Scarecrow. 
Impossible. I've had a team there ever since the evacuation started, just like you asked. Crane must have bought them off. Or worse. I'm in the area. I'll round up my guys and head over. Hold off until I get there, Jim. I'm on my way. Like it's Ace Chemicals. How can you not expect someone to be building a giant chemical bomb at Ace Chemicals? Dan's planning something big. Why else would he team up with Penguin? Um. But right now, there's a couple of trophies I can grab right now. That's one back here. That train car was just blocking the path to it. So. Slide. My trophy. Um. What other, what other trophies are available to me right now? Well, there's a breakable object over there. is available to me right now. I mean, I can get that. Uh, don't think I can get that. Can I get that one? Ivy, Let's find out. Can I get that one? Yes, sir. Oh, I know where that one is. Yep. Yep, yep. Just through there. Ah, crap. Just, 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 just drop down. Damn it, Batman. I'll just get it this way. What the hell? Come on. There we go. Uh, trophies everywhere. I think I missed the one that was just around the corner here. Yep. I don't fear across anyone. There's usually one of those things there. Maybe it's just not available to me yet. Well, what is, is available to me now? There's that. I got a taste of scarecrow's fear gas once. I really, really don't want another one. Are you sure? All the cool kids are doing it. Doing the beard toxin. Back up. He's gonna get us. No chance. What else can I blow up? Well, there's that there. Right. Well, this is kind of some stuff that could have been saved for later. Right now, Gordon needs our help with hunting down Scarecrow at Ace Camp, so let's take care of that now, shall we? Get out of my way, car! I just want to grab this last trophy, and then we'll get a move on. Uh, how many trophies have I gotten so far? I want to say... 15. 22, okay. Much more than I thought. Ah! Weird auto saving. Hey, 
Any word from inside? Nothing. We think there's a skeleton crew left in there, but they're not responding and the facility's locked down. If they're still alive, I'll find them. They should be able to tell us what Scarecrow's up to. What the hell? of yours stay here and I'll go find out well we've just met Arkham Knight but we're gonna find out what scarecrow has been up to in the next episode I want to say thank you guys so much for watching uh, it always means so much to me please like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video